are you suffering from clients who love to negotiate and are always asking for a discount? Well, today I've got the solution for you in form of a pill. It's a pill which you can take and from now on, you no longer have to deal with those clients who are always asking for more value than what they are paying. And I'm going to show you how to craft your offers so that you can create offers that they will be lining up to buy. So let me start by taking my pill first. Mm. Ah. Hi, my name is Jackie Mwangi and I'm a digital marketing strategist and coach. And just in case you were wondering, the pill that I just took was actually Omega. I needed to take my Omega for the day and I hadn't. And I figured that since this video will be short and sweet and will offer you a solution that will enable you to not have to lower your prices all the time and not have to deal with tire kickers and price shoppers, I figured I might as well just be a bit more dramatic in the beginning. <laughs> all right. So here's the thing when it comes to clients who are always negotiating. It's a lot of the times it's actually not their fault that they're always trying to get a discount because wouldn't you want to get a discount, get something that's more valuable and pay less for it? More often than not, it's something that we do naturally. But when you find that a lot of people who you're talking to are always like, oh, that's too expensive. Oh, can I get a discount? And really negotiating hard, then this is what you want to do. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a pipeline of clients to talk to. Because when you only have a few clients to talk to, like you're talking, you're dealing with one client right now, then you're going to focus so much attention on that one client and you're going to start looking desperate. And if you think about it from a dating perspective, when, if you think about somebody who's ever been like really desperate to be with you, that's not an attractive trait. That's somebody who you know you can push around kind of thing, like they'll always be there. And they're always like ready to, even if you treat them badly, they're always like, you know, ready to take your nonsense. But if this, if, um, if you have a lot more offers, a lot more people who you're talking to, you're not just talking to one person, then you're not going to present yourself as desperate. And when you start to treat them badly, they'll just walk away. So it's the same thing like in business. If you're only talking to one or two clients, your attention is so focused on those clients that you cannot help but seem desperate. And desperation has a smell. It's got a smell and it's not pretty. So most people can smell it and that's when they start to negotiate you down. We want it at half the price. It's a service, so it doesn't really matter. It's not like you're buying anything extra. Just give me that thing at half the price and then just just do it. I mean, it's, it's business. I'll go somewhere else. I've got so many other people who are offering me this same service, so you give it to me at half the price. Sound familiar? That's because they've smelled desperation. So you want to make sure that you have a pipeline of potential clients or prospects and remember i told you uh, the magic pill i'll tell you where to get it one of the things that you want to do to be able to get a lot more clients is use social media to do that and social media creates i mean it's a fantastic platform it's great that we have the opportunity as small business owners to reach people who we would never have known existed you and i maybe would never have met but it, it's either my content that I create, content that I created that brought you to my page or brought you to my channel, or you saw me on an ad and then you ended up clicking, doing your homework and you got to this page and we're having this conversation today. So it's important that you reach, you're able to reach a wider audience, reach more people who you can solve problems for, as opposed to just being limited to like referrals, repeat business, and you know, people who accidentally bump into your page, which rarely happens. So social media advertising really does give us that opportunity to reach more people and to be able to present our offers to more people. That way you create a pipeline of what I call leads. Um, and leads are prospective clients 
or potential clients it's the same thing but you create a pipeline of a lot of potential clients or leads who you can then either give proposals depending on your your selling process or who you can then send to your stoppage for them to buy your offers or you know whatever it is come to your dentistry or you know whatever it is that you you offer whatever service you offer or ask for a quote or book a call and stuff like that so you always want to have a pipeline because if you don't have a pipeline you're going to act desperate and you cannot help it it just happens like it's maybe the 28th of the month and you're thinking that you've got a few days to make bank or make rent or pay your utilities or pay your staff and you're like desperate for this thing don't be if you have a lot more prospects then that you know that that will not be the case for you <laughs> right cool so that's the first thing the second thing that you want to do is you want to offer more value so don't negotiate on price negotiate on value and where do you get this magic pill you have to understand who you're dealing with so spend time asking them questions, getting to know them, understanding what this, what is their pain? Why, why did they come to you if perhaps they came to you? What are they looking to solve? And what is it costing them? And then see how you can offer them more value instead of reducing the price. So if somebody really wants to negotiate, save like some of the things that you include in your offer till the end. And then just say, hey, you know, um, based on this, I know you're going to need this next. So I'll provide that to you without charging you extra instead of reducing the pricing. Fair enough. Right. So that's what you want to do. You want to, but to add something, some additional value that's not going to cost you more so that you don't have to reduce your pricing. So you don't have to always keep dealing with clients who are like, you know, aggressively negotiating with you. Because another thing that's going to be an issue is when you take up those clients, they end up being some of the most difficult clients. And I know you know what I mean. If you've ever reduced your prices significantly, bent over backwards to serve somebody, to give somebody an offer that they could have afforded to pay at full price, that person will not value what it is that you're selling them and they will not be a great client. So unfortunately, in the end, you end up losing anyway because now they become problematic. Now you have to spend more time and energy at a lower cost dealing with their issues and trying to serve them and trying to make them happy. And because you set precedence in the beginning by reducing your prices so much, they know they can get away with a lot more and they'll keep pushing. So you don't want that and I don't want that for you. That's why I made this video and I made the next one that's going to show up on your screen so that you can go there and also learn something else that's going to help you in your business. And if you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button below this video so that you can be notified when I release the next video. And I look forward to seeing you at the next one.